For most businesses and brands, having a strong social media is their most powerful asset. In this video, we're gonna be exploring and talking about how we can automate our social media using AI and the different AI tools that exist. You have to figure out Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. There's so many different platforms. It's very, very difficult to get right, especially when you're so busy building the business that these social accounts are connected to. Now, before I jump into the juicy part of the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, for the example of this video, I'm gonna say that we have a physical donut store here in London. Now my goal is obviously going to be to drive visitors to our physical premises and use social media to create engaging content so that they come and buy our donuts. So the channels I'm likely going to be using for this type of business is going to be creating content on TikTok, creating and posting imagery and videos on Instagram and then of course the same on Facebook as well. So let's dive into the entire workflow that I would do utilizing AI and different tools to help automate certain parts and to help us make this process super super simple this literally applies with every single business when it comes to social media so follow along and see how you can use these tools for yourself so first things first we're going to want to be able to create content for our business so we need to be coming up with new ideas and we need to keep our feed exciting with exciting imagery and exciting videos that get our customers engaging and clicking through to our site now previously we probably would have had to pay a content creator or a designer to do this for us and it gets very very expensive and very difficult to maintain when there's not a ton of money coming in from it now, some of you may have heard of Canva and you've probably used it for your businesses or your social media before, but we now have access to Canva and their AI capabilities. We can essentially come on over to this. We can type in what sort of imagery we want. For example, maybe we want pink donuts on a pink background. Then we can enter that into Canva AI. Now, obviously you've probably taken photos of your donuts if you have a donut shop, so you can use that as well. But if you did want to create them artificially, this is a great option. Now, also you have the likes of Mid Journey, where you can type in different prompts. You type slash imagine pink donuts. Then it's going to spit out some amazing AI generated donuts that we could also use on our social media. If I wanted to create video based content, I could come on over to Lumen5. Now Lumen5 is going to allow me to generate video content based on prompts and based on what I input into the system. So let's say for a special ad, I'm going to be running a 50% discount. So I want to show a picture of a happy customer that is going into the store, tapping their card and receiving a box of delicious donuts. I can type that into Lumen5 and it's going to spit out a video piece of content where I can then add captions and change different titles that I can then use as a video format on my Instagram, TikTok, wherever I want to use it. So when it comes to creating content from scratch without the help of any pre-recorded videos or photography, those are our options. We now have these AI tools that can create this content with a click of a button. Well, if I do take videos in the store and I upload them to TikTok or Instagram, I'm gonna to wanna to be able to add captions. You know, these little words that come up on the screen as I'm talking right now, you can start to read along without having the volume on. Now, these are super crucial when it comes to posting short form content. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that using AI. Now, there's a platform called media.io. And what you can do, you can upload your content onto that and AI will automatically add captions to your video. And you can choose what font, you can choose what color, and you can choose what style and design you like as well. You can then move that text around the video so it's perfect for you. And then you can use that on your TikTok and Instagram. This is obviously gonna save you so much time. Now, when it comes to repurposing your content, I would recommend going to repurpose.io repurpose.io automatically repurposes your content whenever you upload it onto a certain channel so let's say you've made a youtube video and you uploaded that onto youtube if you've plugged your channel into repurpose.io what it's going to be able to do is take that content from youtube and then make it work on tiktok or make it work on instagram whatever you've set it to do so that is just another way how you can automate your content creation using ai now i'm going to leave all the links down below in the description for all the tools i talk about today now once i have everything and I've got all my content ready to go, I obviously need to create captions for my content. Now for this, we're gonna use ChatGPT and ChatGPT gives us so many different options for this. We can ask it to create us captions that are funny, create us captions that are in a bullet point list. And we can also feed in data as well. So we can say, hey, look, we have a donut shop. We have a 50% sale. The sale is gonna run for two weeks. Create me a caption for TikTok or create me a caption for Instagram. And ChatGPT is then gonna spit out a ton of different caption ideas for us that we can then copy and play with. So once we have all of our content created, we are ready to go. We now want to schedule our posts. Content scheduling is gonna take the pressure away from us to having to log into our socials every day just to manually upload all of our posts and imagery. We can now schedule and have everything done for us. You know, we can schedule one or two times
times a month and have posts going out every single day still. So let's get them automatically scheduled for us. So there is an AI called Buffer and what Buffer does, it allows us to schedule our content across these different platforms and completely automate our posting. So Buffer is such a good all round social media tool. It allows us to schedule all of our content. It allows us to create content and come up with content ideas for us. And we can basically just plant everything when it comes to our social media on this one platform. The key here for us is to have a consistent posting schedule. And then we also need to be able to track and analyze our results of our social media posts once we have them set up and running. So you can actually do this on Buffer 2. They do have an option for you to do that. There is also a platform called Hootsuite. Now Hootsuite has been running for years. A lot of people are using them, but they also have AI integrated into their platform now as well. So Hootsuite is going to allow you to track all your analytics, see how well your posts are doing, see what levels of engagement engagement you're getting on what posts as well and then see what channels are working the best for you too you see it all the time a lot of people get started on social media they think that they just have to constantly post on every single platform which yes i somewhat agree with but if there is a platform that is absolutely killing it like tiktok for example you need to be allocating you know 60 70 percent of your time to that one platform and then just keeping the other platforms active so there's always going to be that one winner for you guys and it all depends on your different business if i'm selling donuts and my demographic of customers is younger people in their 20s then I'm going to want to be on TikTok because that's where my audience is. So you do have to understand that when it comes to social media. Not everyone is on all the platforms. You need to really decide where your demographic is and where you're going to get the best value for your time. It doesn't just stop there though. Once we have everything set up, we have our content ready, we have our posting schedule, we're now tracking our analytics and data. We also want to use some AI to actually manage our community. So we have a platform called ManyChat. And now what ManyChat is, is a chatbot that you can plug into your Instagram, for example. So when you get customers asking you questions on Instagram, ManyChat is actually going to respond to them automatically with pre-designed messages that you've inputted into it. So for example, if I'm running my Instagram as an FAQ and people can message me for customer support, maybe they're asking what different flavors of donuts I have. Well, I can set it up on ManyChat to respond to them with a link to my website that has the list of donuts or I can respond to them with a price list for the different donuts. Whatever it is you need to respond with, you can set that up on ManyChat and that's gonna save you so much time. So why wouldn't we just use a piece of AI that can sit there and do it for us so that we never ever miss any opportunities that are coming through our messages. When it comes to managing a team, we can use platforms like Trello or Monday.com or Notion. These are all platforms that we can then delegate our social media tasks out. So if you now know how to do all of this stuff, but you don't want to do it yourself, we'll get your team on one of those platforms and start delegating the tasks and managing their workflow through those platforms and it will make it super, super simple for you. There really are a ton of options when it comes to managing and utilizing AI within your business when it comes to using AI for social media. But those are some of the platforms that I use personally when it comes to building out my presence online. Like I said, if you do wanna find them, they're in the description below. And if you do need any help whatsoever, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you in the comments and answer any questions that you may have. If you did like this video, make sure you check out this one right here as well because that is also gonna help you massively. Guys, my name's Liam. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.